Hey, this is Presh Walker. Simplify the square root of the quantity 3 minus 2 root 2. Write your answer in the form a plus b root 2 for real numbers a and b. This is said to be a Cambridge interview question, and it was covered by the great channel at Black Pen Red Pen. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I'll get started by saying ChatGPT wasn't of any help at all, because while it provided another form of the expression, it was also still a sum of square root expressions. So it didn't give us the answer. Google Bard said this could not be simplified. So, so far we're out of luck. So let's see if we can solve it ourselves. We will set the square root of the quantity 3 minus 2 root 2 to be equal to a plus b root 2. Squaring both sides of the equation, we get 3 minus 2 root 2 is equal to the square of a plus b root 2. We square the binomial to get a squared plus 2b squared plus 2ab square root of 2. Now we will equate 3 with a squared plus 2b squared, and we will equate negative 2 with 2ab. So we end up with two equations. We have a squared plus 2b squared is equal to 3, and 2ab is equal to negative 2. So let's work through these equations. From 2ab is equal to negative 2, divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get ab is equal to negative 1, so b is equal to negative 1 over a. We will substitute this into the other equation to get a squared plus 2 times the square of negative 1 over a is equal to 3. Multiplying both sides of the equation by a squared gives a to the power 4 plus 2 is equal to 3a squared, so then a to the power 4 minus 3a squared plus 2 is equal to 0. We can simplify this equation because it's a quadratic in a squared. So this factors into a squared minus 2 multiplied by a squared minus 1. This is equal to 0. We get a is equal to plus or minus square root of 2, or a is equal to plus or minus 1. We now substitute that into b is equal to minus 1 over a. So there are four pairs. So we have ab is equal to four possibilities. We have root 2, comma, negative root 2 over 2. The next set will be negative root 2, comma, root 2 over 2. Then the third will be 1, comma, negative 1. And the fourth is negative 1, comma, 1. Now remember, this is a plus b root 2. So let's substitute in these values for a and b. So we end up with the following four results. But if you look closely, some of these are repeats. So square root of 2 minus 1 is the same thing as minus 1 plus root 2, and minus root 2 plus 1 is the same thing as 1 minus root 2. So there are really only two values we want to deal with. Now we want the principal square root of 3 minus 2 root 2, and that must be greater than or equal to 0. But we know that negative root 2 plus 1 is less than 0, so we can eliminate this possibility. Therefore, we know this simplifies to be root 2 minus 1, and that's the answer. Now that we know the answer, we could actually have seen a very quick way to solve this problem. We could have written 3 as 2 plus 1, then 2 is equal to the square of root 2, so we have the square of root 2 plus the square of 1 minus 2 root 2, this can be factored into a perfect square of the square of root 2 minus 1. Taking the square root and the principal square root of both sides, we would get that the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 is equal to root 2 minus 1. So it's a good way we could have solved it, but if you didn't know the trick, it's also good to know the long way to work it out. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.